Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to Kind of Funny Games. My name is Colin Moriarty. This is the illustrious Greg Miller. <laughs> Greg, we're here to play a special game. Well, a game that was special to you. A game that I didn't play when a I had A seminal it. game for Greg Miller. The Death and Return of Superman. Now, we're playing on SNES. Which is blasphemy, of course. I was a Sega kid. I was going to say, a lot, just like many, many a game like this. And right here in the B-roll, you get to see Con Superboy. Con L, his first ever video game appearance. You wonder why I love this game. Come on! I, I was just going to say, Greg, real quick, before you got overly excited about that, yeah. was that, like many games today and back in the day, a lot of games cross over between Genesis and Super Nintendo, especially yeah. games like this. So, uh, what I'm most interested in with, with this particular port, because SNES did have better ports, usually, yeah. uh, was, and that, of course, that's totally subjective. That's just me being a Super I'm Nintendo I'm with you, fan. though. I think, I think that's the truth. Um, but I'm curious what you think about this particular game. We're playing on our, what are we playing on, our Recom? Our yeah, re this is... <laughs> our re Retron? Retron, Retron 5. 5. I can't see the... From, from GameZone. Yeah, right there it is. Retron.com. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you very much. Retron 5. So, yeah, we... we We're starting it up here, Colin. I'm excited about this this machine here. This machine can play all the classics. Yeah, like now I gotta get all my games sent back from New York. So, so we can see. Come in here, get the Metropolis setting. There it is, Metropolis. Pretty day. A peaceful summer evening when suddenly... Those periods are totally unnecessary after the... Uh, Metropolis in present Metropolis. day. Metropolis. Present day. A complete power failure. Now you'd think this is the work of Doomsday, right? It's not. They're being so- I wouldn't, I wouldn't make any assumptions. They're being so true to canon that they introduced the Underworldlers here. These like stupid- Like you want to talk about why Superman comics were in the shitter. People like the Underworlders were one of them. Lois Lane was investigating- They looked like- They looked like actual supervillains though. Like unlike a lot of the supervillains I've seen in Superman. That's that, pretty cool. That like, like Lex Luthor, he's just a dude. Oh, yeah, well, you like that. You like the grind of stuff you're always talking about. But only in Batman. Yeah. Not for Lex Luthor? No. Okay. But the, I like that, like, this is how the real Death of Superman returns, or Death of Superman, uh, how it all acts, starts with this crappy Underworld storyline, the kid drawing the spray paint, Superman us on the ground, and then just a bunch of freaking goat people. Now, I gotta be honest, the game looks pretty good. Yeah, right? Like, all right, so what I didn't realize, we were talking about this before, was that Blizzard developed this game with Sunsoft. Yeah. And a lot of people out there that have been following us for a long time know that I have a huge soft spot uh, for Sunsoft. Um, and I think that, honest to God, they made the best superhero game ever, which is the 89 Batman game on NES. Um, they also made Journey to Silius, which is one of the almost underrated games on NES that was supposed to be a Terminator game. Oh, really? And was at the last minute removed of its license, and so they made it into something else. Um, but there's still, like, total Terminator stuff in the game. It's awesome. But this, th so this is a brawl, and I was surprised when you told me that this is a, like, a one-player game. Because you would expect that you'd be able to play with at least two players. Well, again, though, the canon of the whole... I mean, this is there. This is an important storyline for Superman and for Superman fans. You can't just have a Superman Red in here and like, oh, they're both gonna die when they fight Doomsday. That doesn't make a goddamn lick of sense. I don't think a lot of this makes any sense. The parallax scrolling scrolling is pretty cool in the background. We'll see it when you move on to the next screen. I just noticed that. So there's some nice little technical touches here. 16-bit yeah, technical touches. Goat, these goat underworlders. Now you're already look. You look. You look, you look a little low on energy, Greg. I know I'm not doing. I'm not. Well. I gotta be honest. I'm not super impressed with the way you're playing the game. Right it's now. okay. I don't mind. You're allowed to say that. I'm also, I'm also, here's what the, the most interesting thing to me is about this particular, this particular stage is how big those chain link fences are. The, the, the chain link fence, Greg, that chain, look at how big the gaps are in that chain link fence. Superman could fit his entire head through one of those things. All I'm trying to do is keep out, you know, this is a Metropolis power plant. They weren't expecting a group like the Underworlders to come in here and start crap, right? Oh no! You trying to get in there to get that Superman logo? Alright, I went back. Oh, you screwed, screwed it up. up. Screwed it up. I never liked how Superman's cape looked when he walked, by the way. If you look, it's way too off the shoulder. Just standing here looks dope. Yeah, look, it looks at that, so, that, yeah, look at that. Look at that. How much yeah, air white. there is back there. That's a good point. That's the sad part is that even though we're going to get you through the first level here, I imagine, we're not going to get to show you the uh, cyborg, you know, playing as cyborg Superman, playing as playing as Connell, Superboy, Steel. They had everybody in it. The Eradicator, like this, like I was so. People always say there's no good Superman game, and there's never been an amazing Superman game. But this is this one is like probably the closest to you know, it, as, as all these nerdy comic characters that nobody you know you know that weren't. It was a big deal when Superman died, of course. But like, not many people jumped on the Superboy bandwagon the way Greg Miller did and fell in love with him and cheered for him the rest of his life. But it was it was it was a it was a love letter to us fans of the comic, if you will. You know what I mean? A bunch of like granted like these goat men popping up over and over again. Yeah. Like there's only one of them in the Underworlders, and they all again, not here. They were super stupid, so there was no real reason for them to have this much time in a video game. 
you know, they should have probably just gotten right to Doomsday, but whatever. I love the conventions of a brawler too. Like there's always the elevator level, like the, the elevator part. Sure. Like, like when you walked in and got the health, I was like, I don't know if you wanted to do that because that seems like it's there because this is going to be a long and arduous section of the stage and mm -hmm. grab it a little mm -hmm. bit, but it seems like you're handling yourself pretty well here. And what's funny about this to me too, is that this genre is dead today. Yeah. And I don't understand quite why, because I feel like these kinds of games, you know, not that, you know, Double Dragon was awesome, and, and um, you know, we played Simpsons on Kind of Funny Games, which is not a very good game, but Konami was making a lot of those kinds of games, X-Men. Um, and we only have gotten, like, a few really notable ones in the last even 10 years. Like, I'd, I'd say Castle Crashers is one of them, yeah. which is a fantastic I feel like game. they just, they always sound like a good idea, and then they aren't. Like, I remember when... Scott Pilgrim was coming up, mm -hmm. and we played it in previews, like, this is awesome, and then we got it, and like, it was like, oh, yeah, I kind of remember why I don't like these. Like, I don't like, like, if it's annoying in this game, even, you'll see me start punching, and I'm like, oh, I'm not exactly on the plane this bad guy is. So I gotta try to line that up. Yeah, that was the problem. It seems like there's some gravity here, though, when I'm watching you play. Like, it seems like the enemies snap to your plane if you're near them. I just actually noticed that with the guy with the gun here that shot you, Igor. Uh, that it seemed like he snapped up a little bit, like, maybe there's, like, some, some cheat here. To make the gameplay a little more seamless, but no, that 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 was always that was a notorious problem. Regardless of you were playing the TMNT classic one, you know, beat 'em up or you know any of the beat 'em ups, but the beat 'em ups are definitely a relic of the late '80s and right into the mid '90s, I would say. Mm -hmm. And we love them, but these are games that are made, and I'm not saying this particular game, but this kind of style of game was made to play with your friends in an arcade, and I think that that's why the game, the genre, has kind of died. Do sure. you think it would come back with the advent of PSN and Xbox Live? Um, but that was the cool thing with like when they re when they re-released Final Fight, right? That was like one of the nice additions, like you know that okay, you can go play online with all your friends and do this. And that was one of the downsides if you remember. I think what killed Scott Pilgrim and why nobody really cared about that. Yeah, no online play. It's like what? Oh, yeah, that was. Hell, why the hell would I do this? That was weird. So what are the what are the three? Are those red orbs under your health? Those are your continues? No, no, no. The, the red orbs are my special power slam move. I'm saving them for Closter. He pops up here at the end. This parallax scrolling is really nice. I'm telling you. I mean, this is a little known fact that the money they made off this is the seed money they used for a while. Like, oh, this interesting. This game was so successful that they were like, well, now we should try this thing, World of Warcraft. And everybody's like, I don't know. There's probably a lot more Superman stories to tell. What was the date on this? Like, 93? That was stupid. Um, that I am not sure. It doesn't look like a late SNES game. It could be, I guess. And how does it play on SNES with that with that wonderful controller? Good. The uh, dog bone. I ain't can, I ain't can. Oh, come on. Stupid tick. There was something ergonomic about that SNES controller. Yeah, it feels good. The triggers didn't really make any sense. I remember the triggers, like, no one even used them. Ahead of their time, man. But they were. They were really out of their time. Come on, Igor. Stand up and die. Ah, another freaking Rambo. Get out of here! I'm just looking at the controller. I spent so much time with that controller in my hand. I haven't even looked at it in so long. The weird, like, purple buttons. Yeah. To differentiate it from that red Here we go. NES uh, I think this is, this is Here we go. Foster's coming up. Then we get some awesome cutscenes. Wow. What the? Damn, oh. he, just came, he just came right out and screwed you, Greg. There we go, here we go. Now we got him. Now we got this guy by the balls. Well, it seems like you're not going to be able to do that much damage to him with us. You're going to take it away. It sets maybe, it up nice. Maybe half his health. 60% left, maybe. Oh, there you go. Punching him right I'm just in showing, I was, you know. Punching him right in his mouth. See, yeah, you're doing way more damage just doing that. Yeah, but it was cool to do those. Why not save him? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna beat death. Wow, he was Superman like a. Here, he was a piece. Look of at him. Look at what a baller suit man is. He was a piece, piece of shit, huh? Yeah, oh, the guy, his, own, his, his own henchmen were way harder. Yeah, the ticks. The tick was way tougher than he was. Well, there we go. This guy. Look at this guy's mullet. News flash: A being of unknown origin is heading from Metropolis, destroying everything in his path. Not even the Justice League can stop it. The only mention of the crappy Justice League, by the way, because this was not when the Justice League was good. This is when it was a whole bunch of idiots. Doomsday's here. Watch this. Get ready. Wow! Look at him. He's coming for you, Kyle. Art's kind of nice, actually, in this game. I'm telling you, bro. Very 90s. Only Superman can save us now. And you think, all right, cool, now we just get to fight him right away. It's like, no, we got we to gotta go through more stuff. No, Superman, you got to go. You, the end boss is only the boss because he's at the end, Greg. I know, but I'd like to see him in the beginning. You know what I mean? And, like, then we get, I don't, I don't, don't want to spoil it. If we How many there. levels are there in this game? I forget. We don't have to go through them all. I'm just giving you the taste here. I'm not saying we do or we don't. I was just... Trying to get a little bit of a... Information? A little some information. Just some, I, don't know, I, I wasn't taking the game. copious notes when I was a little kid. Now, well, all right, so now these guys are straight up double dragon enemies. Well, and I like how Superman's just in Metropolis. He's killing these men. And there's no there's no explanation as to why these goons are like giving Superman any trouble, right? Like, I have a chainsaw. Well, I'm Superman, so... These guys are straight up G.I. Joe villains, actually. Like Zartan's guys. One was called Buzzsaw, I think. One was one was called Blowtorch. They look just like them. Sometimes you gotta save money. 
Again, they used the money made on this for a while. They didn't put the wild budget into this. I'm not saying, again, I'm just saying that there's some aesthetic, you know, similarities. I'm not saying that they copied it. Now, if you remember, what was important about this one, Colin, is that it was the first game where I could just, I could use heat vision. Well, maybe not the first, but it was the first one where I can remember where I could use heat vision at will, because I can't remember that in the other Genesis uh, Superman game. And I could also fly at will. Now, will double, hold on. what I like about this, Greg, by the way, look at, how, look at the cityscape. Again, there's like four layers of parallax scrolling here. And what's cool is that it looks kind of nice when you jump up. Like the, the most the most aesthetically pleasing part of the background is yeah. the part that's closest to you that's often blocked. And then the background just looks awful. <laughs> like the city back it's there. It's the smog. Metropolis it, is just Metropolis is an industrial city of tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna trouble here. I'm gonna I'm gonna blow one of these. Here's your damn motorcycle. Molotov is a clever name. Man, these guys are roughing you up, Greg. I know, man. Damn, you just threw it in all the right your, your face. face. The problem, the, here, the problem I had God here is that there's damn, no. And it, granted, it's ahead of its time. But there's no like dodge roll. When Molotov's getting ready to throw something, it's like, well, that's coming in. What am I gonna do? You know what I mean? Like I can't. I like how he's just got a lighter and he actually lights the Molotov cocktail. It's kind of cool. It's pretty. It's like there's some pretty cool pieces yeah. of this game. There you go. Boom right in his fucking fat face. Superman, he's paralyzed. <laughs> Not my problem. Superman's just murdering dudes. I, uh, there's a monster of unknown origin heading towards the city. Can I please pass you? If, any of you, if Molotov wants to go fight Doomsday, he's more than welcome to, but none of you are working for it. Like, that's the other thing. There's no real explanation for why these guys are starting shit right now. I guess maybe they're looting in the, you know, because Doomsday's coming through, but even that doesn't make much sense. Maybe they're working for him. Doomsday, he came out of the ground. He didn't have time to hire anybody. You never know. No! Should have oh saved. Oh my god, he's gonna. I could have. Should have. Yeah, I should have saved. He's aggressive. Well, he's Program. Doomsday, bruh. Programmed very aggressively. <laughs> Get down there, Superman! <laughs> hey, Superman! <laughs> you coward! Wow, he can't get you? That's really troublesome. I'm surprised that these guys don't have aerial attacks to fight you, to fend that off. Oh, Doomsday's got no aerial, he's got no aerial game. Is that it? Oh, oh I'm dead. Well, if I restart the level, I think we should probably just start it, stop it. Yeah, you're you saw Doomsday do kill me. Like, eventually you battle him, and if you, if you wear it down, they do like the whole comic book knockout punch at the same time. I fall down. But I'm old, and I don't know how to do that anymore. I'm, I'm old. You ever get old? Yeah, I've, I've been old. Atrophy. Wait, skills. is this where the stage starts, or is this? The yeah, this is where it starts. Oh, okay. Got, All right. Well, yeah, guys. we're not doing this again. All right, cool. There's no way. Okay. Greg, are you done? Are you satisfied? Are you satiated? Yeah, I had fun. Wow, look, I did that move. I didn't even know I could do yeah, that. Yeah, so it's, uh, this is an interesting game. And it's some interesting heritage here with Sunsoft and Blizzard. Two company, well, Sunsoft, you know, people that own NES, especially, I think are all very familiar with that. But, you know, who, who the hell knew Blizzard was making games like this? I didn't. I had no idea. You learned something today. Uh, Greg, yeah. thank you for showing me. Or it's the death pleasure. and return of Superman. Right. SNES and Genesis. Yep. Not available for download anywhere, but we have the cartridge here. Yep. Thanks uh, to our Retron 5 from and Game our, Zone and our Retron 5. Da 5. We, we do appreciate da that very much. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here on Kind of Funny Games. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, video game Let's Plays and our podcasts. And you can find us at Colin and Greg Live on Twitch. And there's all sorts of good stuff going on. Uh, so until next time, au revoir.